Today we're going to talk all about crawl. The word crawl, what does that mean exactly? Are we talking about a bar crawl? Because I've done a lot of those in my time. Holla. Are we talking about Polly Shore's character crawl in Son-in-Law? Don't even try it, buddy. I'm sitting here wheezing the juices. The geese are honking, honk, honk, honk. Worst Polly Shore impression ever, but you know what I mean. No, 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 my friends. We're talking about crawl control that you can find on Toyota trucks and SUVs. You can see it on a 4Runner, just like this 4Runner TRD Off-Road in Barcelona Red. You'll definitely find it on this magnetic gray Tacoma TRD Off-Road. One vehicle you will not find crawl control on or multi-terrain select is a TRD Pro Tundra or a TRD Off-Road Tundra. But I just wanted to find a way to get in this, shut up, get in this Lunar Rock Tundra TRD Pro because it is a monster, it's a beast. Just look at it. Will you just look at it? I'm gonna have to have a talk with these guys. I'm trying to film. You guys, I think they're coming after me. Crawl control is a low speed cruise control and it helps you get through and out of obstacles like deep sand or mud or snow, ice, things like that where you might be a little bit buried and you just need to find a way out. You're gonna find it on a Tacoma. This is a 21 Tacoma TRD off-road. Right here, we've got MTS, multi-terrain select. And over here on the right, we see crawl control. So this is the Tacoma. Let's look at the 4Runner. 4Runner Crawl Control does the same thing. Again, it's a low speed cruise control. And the idea is that the vehicle is gonna control the speed or the velocity that you're going while you focus on your steering to get you through that obstacle. Let the car do the movements, okay? You're just gonna get yourself through the obstacle. And over here, up above, you're gonna see it's different than the Tacoma. Here is the Crawl Control. And then here's the multi-terrain select, and that's light to heavy terrain, and then low speed to high speed. Let's start with 4Runner here. We're gonna look at the manual. Of course, we're gonna go to page 310. Why wouldn't we? Crawl control. It allows traveling on extremely rough off-road surfaces at a fixed low speed without pressing the accelerator or brake pedal. Minimizes loss of traction or vehicle slip when driving on slippery road surfaces, allowing for stable driving. And of course, we see it up here talks about the different speed controls, and then also what you might see on your multi-information display. Here we go, the on-off switch. Then the speed selector dial, the crawl control indicator, slip indicator, and the multi-information display. All right, here are the speed modes. The following table shows some typical terrains. We've got Snow, mud, gravel, sand, dirt, moguls going uphill, grass, moguls, rocks and moguls, downhill. So you can see the different modes that you're gonna be put in. It can be operated when the engine's running, the shift lever is in any position other than P or N, so drive and reverse, fair game. And you've gotta be in low four wheel and you gotta have the driver's door closed. It's cancel when you go above 15. Is there more? There might be more. All right, here we go. We'll just look at it. These are different ways that it can be canceled out. If you shift to park or neutral, when you're shifted to high four, driver's door open, that kind of stuff. All right, there we go. So here's the criteria. We have to be in drive or reverse. We're gonna do it in drive. And then you have to move the shift lever to low four. And then we have to turn on the crawl control system. And then we can control the speeds. And I'll show you the display and what we're looking at and the sounds that you'll hear. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we'll put it into neutral and then I can Shift over to low, okay. Now I'm gonna put it into drive, turn on, 
here's what we got so far. Now we're going to turn on the crawl. And then we're going to go forward. See that? We're in crawl control mode. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit. You hear it? Sorry, geese. All right, so now we're in crawl. I'm gonna slow it down. We don't wanna get all the way to those geese, poor things. All right, so then I'm going to stop it, put it in park, and it's been deactivated. Awesome. And why are we attempting to show you how crawl control works? Well, because we've got two of the toughest vehicles on the entire planet. Tacoma's the best-selling mid-size truck in the entire nation. It has been for a long, long time, a decade and a half. It's tough, it's rugged. It will go for such a long time. Remember, I actually, when I was doing sales, I sold an 08 Tacoma to my friend, Mike. He has, he's approaching 1.5 million miles. It's almost time for an update on that one. This one right here, it takes a licking, keeps on ticking, Tacoma tough. And then this one right here, Forerunner, it's body on frame design is perfect for off-road travel. It can handle tough trails and bumps and uneven ground and mountains and things like that. This is what you wanna take on your next off-roading adventure. It's amazing. Forerunner. Question is, which one do you like better? Forerunner, Tacoma? They're interchangeable to me because you could do so much with either one of them. They're both really cool. I think I would go Forerunner but I know 50% of the people are gonna say Tacoma. Which one's your choice? Now it's Tacoma time. Remember, you've gotta be in low four, gotta have crawl control pushed, and then you have to be in either drive or reverse. So let's try it. Tacoma 21 manual. And as page 312 so beautifully says, well, it says the same thing as the Forerunner. So we're just gonna look through here the different parts, the speed selector, crawl control on and off switch, a little bit different than our forerunner friend, the crawl control indicator, slip indicator, multi-information display. Here are the different speed modes that you might wanna be in. Does that look like another vehicle that we just looked at? We'll just go through, feel free to stop the video to look at this closer. When the engine's running, the shift lever is in drive or reverse, four low, driver's door closed. Can't be pulling any Bo and Luke Duke tricks. Although I'll tell you what, if Boss Hog was chasing me, I might be trying to do some tricks. We'll meet down at the boar's nest with Daisy. All right, here, automatic system cancellation. Just stop these. I like how it says, there's going to be some noise. That doesn't mean that there's something wrong. A sound may be heard. This sound does not indicate that a malfunction has occurred. All right. Okay, Tacoma time. We've got it in four low, as you can see right there. About to put it in drive. And then we're going to push crawl. Here we go. I can speed up if I want to. But again, I can focus on my steering while the car does the hard lifting, the heavy lifting. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. And that got us through that mucky mess. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is stop it right here and crawl has been deactivated. You guys wanna try reverse? Holla. All right, so we're still in four low, as you can see in orange. Reverse, I'm gonna push crawl. Okay, so now we're going backward. And actually we certainly don't wanna go down there, do we? 
Just low, low speed, and that's crawl. I'm gonna do the window stickers at the end here for those of you that wanna see some specs on a Tacoma TRD off-road and a Forerunner TRD off-road. Magnetic gray made in San Antonio. Here's the safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage. You can compare that to Forerunner when we get there. You can see the 278 horsepower from that 3.5 Atkinson cycle engine. Toyota Safety Sense. Standard features on that one. This one is 37.3. And then we're going to deliver it to the dealerships. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some extra options, W drop step boards, paint protection, some all weather mats, LED interior package. I like the LED package. And then hood or door protection. And then it's about 40,000 with all the delivery and options. And then this is the Forerunner sticker. 4x4 TRD off-road. It starts at 40,000. So it's a little bit more than our Tacoma friends starting off. Made in Japan. So that's one of the differences between the two is where it's manufactured. Forerunner's only manufactured in Japan as of right now. The fuel mileage is a little bit less for Forerunner. This one has similar horsepower and torque, but it's a 4.0 liter V6. Okay, so we're gonna take 4555. They give you a discount from the manufacturer. No extra options from the factory on this one. Get it delivered. That's at 41.2. Then it has some crossbars and an all weather cargo mat. That'll put it at about 41.6. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about crawl control and had fun with me along the way. I think our Canadian geese friends had a little fun. Anyway, do you like the Forerunner better? Do you like the Tacoma better? Maybe you like Tundra better. I don't know. Those are all fodder pieces of information for the comments. So write down some things in the comment section. Just say hi. Hey, Jeff, what's up? That kind of stuff. Tell me what you're doing this weekend. I just want to comment from everybody. Thanks everyone so much. I really appreciate it. You can find pictures of these beasts here on my Instagram at Toyota Jeff one. You can also find Facebook Toyota Jeff. I love Facebook. And then also I'm on TikTok doing zany things at Toyota Jeff two. And then I write for Torque News, torquenews.com slash Toyota. My website is toyotajeff.com if you want to send me an email or a question or anything like that. Thanks so much, everyone. See you next time. Woo! Crawl control, crawl control, crawl control. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Crawl control, crawl control. Now I'm in control. Crawl control. Dun, 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 dun. Crawl control. Wasn't that a Janet Jackson song? Control. Now we're crawling home. Ugh!